Hey folks, welcome back to BHD. This is an update <clears throat> to Spine Buck, my video I have out there. Now I cut a lot of stuff out of it, got a little bit of that done, try to make it more presentable for y'all. But this is also a video warning because this buck is spined. Some people might find that a little bit graphic. Some people may not. So please, if you're going to watch, viewer discretion, watch, you know, I don't know if it's going to make you squeamish or whatever. Some people it might, some people it might not. But stay tuned until the very end for a little safety tip on what to do with the spined buck. See you then. By the way, if you hear a lot of banging and stuff like that going on, that's because about 150, 200 yards away from me, down below me, there is a house over there that has a wrestling ring out there in their yard. You can probably hear the vehicles. Those are about 300 yards away. But, um, if you hear that, that's because they're out there doing the wrestling thing and stuff like that. The deer around here are probably really used to that. So, it probably won't stop them from moving in. But hey, let's see if we can get them.
check on you. You know what? That looks like a big buck down. He's like a buck down, baby. Oh. People, this is just crazy. Oh. Oh. I just got back up in the tree. I had to go down and dispatch the deer. Okay? It's 6.42. Oh. Oh. People, I got my first buck. My first buck on the property of this season. Oh. Oh. My heart is just, my heart is going, it's going nuts. It's at the very bottom of the hill. Oh. First time I spined it, and she drained, he dropped, and now, oh, I'm just waiting for help to come and get this thing, and get her, get him drug up out of here. Oh, people, you don't know how I hope you Thank you, Jesus. I prayed for this to happen. I needed this. People, I got a buck. I got my buck. Oh. Oh. This means so much to me. This means so much to my wife. Oh. But now I got to pack up my stuff, get down. I got to get it into the vehicle, and then I got to come back. But yeah, folks, oh, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I really gotta get my breath. It's the first time I killed a buck. A decent one. And this is the way it looks for now. I have to get down and get a better look. In 25 years of bow hunting, October, Friday, October 13th, 20, 2023. I'm so happy I want to cry. I got him. Yeah. I'm so emotional right now. <sighs> oh. oh, people. Oh. I'll be back. I'll be, well, let, let me get the recovery and we'll get back with you. Right there, folks. Bow hunting gal. Right there, son. And that, that there broadhead, that there is a Magnus Stinger Killer B. Looks like I'm going to have to send off for a new one because the one I got now from hitting him is bent. I mean, it's bent and <laughs> bad. It's bent bad. Whoo. All right, folks, here we go. Time for the recovery. <sighs> Oh, I have to send in my Magnus, I have to call in for my Magnus broadhead, it's all bent. Watch where you step in, because then...
<laughs> Man, before I did this, it was during the daytime. Okay, let me see. Oh. You guys good? Oh, she's way back there. Yeah, I'm just taking my time. I got the new shoes on. Oh, okay. Mom just walked walk this ditch up. You gotta step over. Cause there is a drainage system right here. Yeah, y'all go ahead. I'm just gonna stay over here. I'll end up stepping into the fucking cut or something. No, that's okay. <clears throat> okay. On the should see an arrow. Okay, it's on the other side of that. There's the arrow. There you go, now you can take this one. You can keep recording. <laughs> Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good old Floki boy. <laughs> this is what hunting's about. Ain't no shame in my game with this. Hell no. Now we got to get her up here on the flat, him up on the flat part, and then we're gonna get him gutted out, and then we're gonna get him out of here and get him hung up. Oh, man. Gotta love God's creatures. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Yeah. Whew. This will be on the 27th, I do believe, that this one will be released. Oh, man. Oh, them thorn bushes hurt. Right in the butt cheeks. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, doggy. Hey, folks, how you doing? Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, here's for that tip that I was talking to you about at the end. I mean, at the beginning. Now, for me, what I did, because I ain't never spined a buck before. Never. I ain't never spined a deer before either. So, this here was the first time for me, so it was a new experience. So, knowing how dangerous... A wounded animal period can feasibly be I sat there and stayed up in the tree stand tried to give you a little bit more video of it and tried to watch what the deer was actually doing okay within a minute and a half that deer had already been dispatched it only took about a minute and a half, okay? Because at about 30 seconds in, I was already lowering my bow. And I was making sure that my harness was, you know, completely good and everything else for going down. I use a lifeline for going down, okay? So whenever I seen that, that it was good, there was no tangles, then I got down. Okay, I took my bow, took I knocked an arrow, started walking towards the deer, and whenever I seen the deer, I seen that he was still breathing. So, 
since his head was away from me and I had a clean broadside shot on him. What I did was I took my knocked arrow, came back, it was at 10 yards away, and I put it right into his heart. Now when I did that, by the time I walked back up, you know, to the top, the deer was already dispatched. Okay, so when you see that ending video where I say I just came back from dispatching the deer, okay, that's what had transgressed in that little bit of time. So, always be cautious about approaching a deer like that because in one instance, you could actually just not spine them, but just right below there, you hit like that nerve and it just jolts you type thing, okay? Like a giant funny bone, but it will drop you. If a deer is like that, you need to get an arrow into that deer as fast as possible okay if you have that clean of a shot then go ahead get her done okay remember we're about conservation N not injuring not wounding but taking proper respect of the animal and to dis to dispatch it as fast as possible while we are safe ourselves so be careful.